Hey everyone, it's Aldo with Kixi. So if you're using high-level CRM with Kixi, a lot of our high-level customers ask what the best way is to automatically send their high-level contacts into Kixi's Power Dialer. And for those of you who don't know, Kixi's Power Dialer allows sales teams to dial one to 10 leads at a time, which allows them to move through their prospecting more efficiently and have more conversations. Uh, so today I'm gonna walk you through a couple of different ways that you can send your high-level contacts into the Kixi Power Dialer. And so, we're going to start out in the high-level workflow section, and right now you'll notice there's no trigger for my workflow. Um, two very common triggers that our customers like to use is either contact is created or like a tag was applied to a contact. Whatever trigger makes the most sense for you, just go ahead and set it up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use high-level's webhook actions to actually send our contacts outside of high-level into Kixi. So High Level has two kinds of webhook actions. They have basic webhooks and custom webhooks. They basically do the same thing. The only difference is that custom webhooks allow you to include JSON payloads with your webhook. So I'll go ahead and kind of walk through the two of them and how they're used for Kixi. First, let's start out. If you use Zapier, I'll show you how you can actually connect your High Level contacts to Zapier and then use Kixi's Zapier integration to actually send the contacts to the power dialer. So in Zapier, we're going to use the, tripper, the trigger webhooks by Zapier, and the event that we're going to use is catch hook. And what's going to happen is Zapier will provide you with a webhook endpoint right here, and you can copy that endpoint. And what you'll do is you'll go back to your high-level workflow, and you'll plug in the Zapier endpoint right here, and you'll click save. And what's going to happen is when your contacts run through this high-level workflow, they will then be sent to Zapier, and all of your contact data will appear right here, like how we're seeing. And then we'll use Kixi's uh, Zapier integration to actually send them into the power list. So what happens is I come down here with my action step. I select Kixi. Uh, the event is add to power list. And then you can see over here in the configuration that I'm taking all of my high-level data, all of my contact data, and I'm plugging it into the power dialer. And the power dialer includes additional fields that allow reps to have more information and more context about the call. So this is how they actually get pushed into the power dialer. So all of the contact information that I'm mapping into here will appear in this view to make the data very accessible for our reps. They can also always click on the CRM link and be taken to the contact record that way. Uh, but this is just another way to do it. So we'll go back and that is basically how we'll send our contacts th into the power dialer through Zapier. But if you don't use Zapier and you just want to send them directly from high level to Kixi, uh, you can use Kixi's APIs and that's still an option. So that's where the custom webhook comes in handy. The only um, thing to be aware of with the custom webhook is I believe it costs like one penny per contact that gets enrolled into it. I'm not sure, but you, you'll want to look into that and be sort of mindful of that when you're actually using this. But basically what's going to happen is you can use Kixi's API and you will plug in the Kixi API endpoint right here, and then all of the you'll fill out all the JSON payload down here. Um, and really, the the API payload is very similar to plug it in through Zapier. So you'll notice that all of the same fields appear here in JSON as they are over here in the action step. First name, oops, and first name, last name, email address. It all pretty much works the same way. And the way that you can plug in contact information from high level into this JSON payload, high level makes it really easy. What you do is you would come over here. So notice that custom three field is blank. And let's say that I want to plug it in with some contact detail from high level. I can click on custom values and select contact. And I can just pick some field from my contact record. Like we'll go with full address. And now the address will be mapped into custom field three. Very similar to how it works over here. Uh, and these are two different ways that you can send your high level contacts into Kixi's power dialer through an automated process. Um, and if you have any questions about how this works or you need help finding the API to add to power list, please let me know and I'd be happy to help you out with that. And in the meantime, if you can think of any other great use cases to send your high level contacts into a power dialer, I'd love to hear about them uh, and stay tuned for more use cases. Thanks.